Hello and happy October. This is your angel forecast for the week of October 2nd. And if you haven't already seen the monthly energetic forecast, stop this video and go and see that video first, please. There's some important information there you really don't want to miss. But if you've already seen it, thank you very much. This week's card is brought to you, none other than the Magdalene herself. And the card, she had me pull a card before we started filming. And this week's card is Union. We're going off script from the message on the card itself. But this is a time to start planning, start thinking of what kind of relationships you want. Not just in that love kind, but the friendship kind, the business kind, the supportive kind which they honestly all ought to be supportive. And she's bringing to my attention, if you look at the symbol right here at the top of the card, because every card isn't always the Vesca Pisces. Like here we have a castle. This is the Vesca Pisces, and it is what is that union that you are bringing? What kind of energy are you bringing to the table with your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, your boss, your subordinates, your loved ones, yourself. What is this union? How do you wish to experience life? So you're getting a homework assignment. First thing off for this month, sit down when you have a quiet, say 10 to 15 minutes. And I apologize for Zeke having a little party over here, but, but He's so excited for you to be creating the union, the relationships that you not only desire, but you deserve. If you feel like a relationship isn't really supporting you, ask yourself, why is that? Is it my imagination? Is it me having a pity party on myself that I think I deserve all of this? Or am I spot on? and they're giving me a lot of lip service, we're here for you, and then they don't do anything to back that up. But at the same token, what are you giving to the relationship? Are you putting out that energy that says, I got it, I'm covered, I don't need your help? Because sometimes we do that as well. So it's okay to ask for help. I've had to do that a lot myself this past year with everything else going on within my personal family. Other things went to the wayside. It's all good. Was it meant to be for other things? Now is your time to set your intention. So write in that journal, what kind of relationships do you desire? And don't be quick about it. Just don't say good ones. Don't just say supportive ones, but give yourself permission to go a little bit deeper. What kind of union do you wish? What kind of union do you wish to have with your guides, with God? the angels. It continues. So ask for this heavenly advice. Relax into the energy. Relax into the fun of it. And allow yourself to be. And thanks to the Magdalene. I hope you enjoyed this week's forecast. I'm your host, Christine Alexandria, as we head into the chilly months of 2023. I also happen to be the founder of Angel Chatter. And this week, don't forget, going on still right now until midnight on the 3rd, you can save 25% off all services. Just go over to angelchatter.com, look under services. No code is needed. Everything has been taken care of for you. And until next week, sending you great love and lots of smiles. Bye for now.